A weed is any plant that's growing where you don't want it to grow. Some weeds are pretty. Some are a real pain because they take over your entire garden and ruin the whole thing. So if you live in the South, I'm gonna tell you about five weeds that are either growing in your garden now and are gonna be growing in your garden and how to get rid of them. First weed is wisteria. Wisteria never stops growing. It never stops spreading. How do you get rid of this thing? Well, if your wisteria is a relatively small plant, you can simply spray it with Roundup and it'll die. But how about if you've got one of these wisterias that's grown all the way to the top of a 60 foot tree? What are you gonna do? You take a saw, you go to the bottom of that tree, you cut the wisteria vine off right at the ground. You then take Roundup or a brush killer, these are weed killers you can get at the garden center, and you brush the liquid over the cut end, and that cut end will absorb all the chemical, take it down to the roots, and kill the plant. It's finished. Weed number two, and I consider this to be the worst weed we have in the South, Chinese privet. The problem is, it blooms every year, and you can smell it in the springtime, this kind of sickening sweet smell, it has white flowers, and then it gets berries on it that the birds eat, and they poop out everywhere, and then you get a zillion seedlings coming up, and it grows all over the countryside. So, how do you get rid of it? The exact same way as I just told you about wisteria. You can spray the plant, if you can reach all parts of it, with the Roundup, or you can cut it off at the base and paint the cut end with Roundup. That'll take care of it that way. Horrible weed number three. The most famous weed of the South is kudzu, the vine that ate the South. So how do you control it? Well, one way is with these weed killers that I've already mentioned. You can spray it with Roundup or Weed Be Gone or any of those other things. Believe it or not, you can rent little herds of goats. Goats love to eat this stuff. And they come to your property, they kind of fence it in, and they just let the goats go to work. And they eat it all the way to the ground. And as a bonus, they leave you with all this free fertilizer. Number four weed. I get this question a lot. I have this beautiful flower garden. How do I get rid of the grass without killing all my flowers and good plants? Well, you can't use Roundup because Roundup would kill everything. So what you need to do is you go to the garden center and you get a product called Grass Be Gone. Grass Be Gone only kills grass. So if you got a lot of grass in your garden, just spray it over the entire garden. All the grass will die, but your flowers will thrive. Weed number five that you will probably hate me for saying, but I just gotta tell the truth, are violets. The problem with violets is each one of those plants puts out about a billion seeds a year. And they all germinate, and if you let them go, they will absolutely take over and nothing else will be there. So, how do you control them? Well, I've got some bad news for you. No weed killers you can spray will kill violets. Just ain't gonna happen. What you have to do is take your weeder and your bucket, and you go out in the backyard and you just have to dig them up, roots and all. And now, you're cringing, you go, but I got zillions out there. How long is this gonna take? Well, here's my advice. Go ahead, take your weeder out there, and every morning, dig up only as many violets as you can during the time it takes you to drink a beer. Thank you. I mean, how bad could it be?